In my life as a semi-professional musician, there's one thing that I have done more of than just about anything else other than playing the guitar, and that is programming one of these, a drum machine. Now, in the early days of programming a drum machine, it was done by manually pressing buttons and recording sequences and joining them together, all done with a very tiny little screen like the one on here. This is a piece of software from 1984 and even compared to today's software this for me is the quickest simplest way of programming a drum machine that I have ever used and I'm going to take you through it. The software I'm going to talk about today is this this is the Yamaha YRM 302 RX editor this is a piece of software that comes on cartridge which is one of these things this is the proprietary cartridge for all MSX computers and it just slots in like that and that's as much as you have to do for installing software, nice and simple. About a year ago I acquired one of these, this is a Yamaha RX15 drum machine from the early 80s. This is one of the first MIDI drum machines that Yamaha made and it's directly compatible with the software. So for this demonstration the first thing I need to do is to switch the computer on and the instruction to run the software is call RX. Okay, this is showing you the pad layout. Now I did a full factory reset of the drum machine so everything is assigned as it should be. So I'm now going to go into the pattern editor part of the program and all you do is you move the cursor around you can get a mouse for this computer, but you can also do it by using the MSX keys. Over pattern, you hit the enter button and up comes the pattern editor. You now move the keys up to this section and if you press enter, you can pick what dr drum you would like to use on that particular track. So on this, I'm going to use bass drum number one. I'm then going to have find some closed hi-hat. Hi-hat closed. I'm then going to put in some snare, snare drum 2 will do, and you then move the cursor to where you want to put each note. You've got a standard 16 beat pattern here, so I'm going to stick a 4 to the floor, and you just enter the note by pressing the space bar. Uh, Hi-hat closed, I think we'll have uh, hi-hat on every other note. And if you make a mistake, like you've put a, a note there, you just press the space bar again and it's gone. Uh, snare drum will have one every other beat, like that. And there's a basic pattern. And you go down and hit play. Hit the button. And there we go. That took seconds to program. Now, you've got a lot of things you can do with this. Um, for example, you can alter the velocity of each note. That's very simple. You just highlight the note that you want to change and then you either use the home or the del key to go up and down on velocity. So if I wanted to knock down, say, the, the alternative hi-hat like that, and then we go down and play it. And it's just changed the velocity a little bit, although it's not really that noticeable, I must confess. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more to this now. I'm gonna, what else should we have? A bit of cowbell. So I'll stick a cowbell there, cowbell there, and a cowbell there. Uh, now, if we hit the run button, Now the cowbell there is quite quite um, loud, so I will go into the velocity editor there, knock it down a bit. Now let's play that again. That's better. Okay, so that's our first pattern. I'm going to make another pattern now. So I'm going to move the cursor up to here, that's pattern 0, 0, and I'm going to make pattern 0, 1. Now, 
again, we've got a blank pattern. So I'm gonna stick some bass drum on that pattern. Uh, I'm gonna put shaker on that pattern and I'm gonna put ride on there. I'm gonna have the ride symbol every other bar there. I'm gonna have a, a kick and then I'm gonna stick an extra kick in there. And then I'm gonna have some shakers there. And then I'm just gonna have a quick listen to that. And I'm gonna start it. Okay, that's another pattern. I'm gonna make one more pattern now. So I'm gonna go back up to the pattern section and then I'm gonna make this pattern 002. That's gonna be bass drum again and we'll have some bass drum there. And then I'm gonna stick some toms in there. So I'm gonna have a tom there, tom there, tom there. I'm going to have Tom, where's, this? where's Tom 1? There's Tom 1. So I might have two Toms there, another Tom there, another Tom there. And let's find some other sounds. Claps. So, some hand claps. Let's play that back. It's probably going to sound terrible, but it doesn't matter because it's just a demonstration. Okay, that'll do. Now, we need to assemble that into some kind of song. Now, this is really easy. We've got three patterns, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. We go into the song arranger window, and we then have that song one. The cursor then opens up, press the enter button, and I want pattern zero. I'm gonna use zero two. So we're gonna have pattern zero two get to the other side of it, hit enter again. We'll have zero two again. Then I'm gonna to go to pattern zero zero. Then I'm gonna to go to pattern zero one. And then I'm gonna to go to pattern zero one again. So we've got three patterns. They weren't programmed in that order, um, but they're there. I'm going to change the tempo. I'm going to make it a little bit slower. So I'm going to change the tempo to hit the enter button one, uh, so pick the down button to 100 beats per minute. And then I'm going to hit the play button. And here we go. So that's that one. And that one. So in those few seconds, I have managed to compose a very basic song using this computer system. Now, there's a lot more that can go into this and you can also use the software for programming the drum machine and getting into the settings and bouncing stuff up and down through MIDI and all that jazz. I didn't wanna do that on this occasion. I just wanted to show how easy it was to make a very basic song using this system. And of course, once you've written the song, you can then back it up. Um, you can get a disk drive for this computer, although they were hard to find in 1984. The normal thing would be to record it onto a cassette. So you plug your cassette in, hit save as if you were saving any other computer program. And there you go, that's it. So yeah, great little system this. Um, and certainly for the time, we're talking 1984, you're using a mouse on the screen you're using a graphical interface to write music. It, I'd never heard of it back then. This, this was complete new science. Um, as I said, most people were using hardware sequences, hardware drum machines, that sort of thing. And so I think this is just an exceptionally brilliant piece of software. And certainly if I'd had this in 1992 when I started the band, I would have used this for everything because it's just so simple to use.